Hello there. How to make use of the links panel in InDesign. What is the links panel? Now, if you've been using links uh, or Adobe InDesign for a little while, you might have that horrible message that pops up and says, links might be missing or modified. You might need to relink them using the links panel. What, what does that mean? Well, the links panel is a very handy panel. Panel. If you can make good use of it, it can really help you when you want to swap or you want to change images. So I've got a document just here. It's a number of different pages, uh, lots of pictures. Um, if there's a grouped document here at the top, uh, some of this here have got difficulty accessing some of these pictures, accessing some of these pictures here. So the links panel can really help you if you want to swap images in or out, etc. Uh, you can also use them to select the images. So how do you do it? Well, first thing we're going to do is just going to go to the links window. So there we go. So up to the top here, we can click on the window uh, menu just at the top there. So there we go. Oops. There we go. So click on the window. We're going to go down to, and we're going to click on links. And here's links over here on the right hand side. And there's all the links to the document that you can see there. So uh, there's a couple of things that you can do with a uh, links panel. The first thing is, is I can see all of my pictures. And as I scroll down in my document, if I click on a picture, I can see it's selected here in my links panel. Like for instance, this picture here. I'm going to control and fit that one there, and just maybe move the picture, here we go, move that little elephant there around a bit that I can see in the Chiswick business part. So I can see over here the picture that I've selected, this uh, long date type file name that's automatically given because I've taken it with my uh, mobile phone there. That's so uh, that's on page two. Now say for instance I'm going down here and I just want to see more of the pictures. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and click on this panel options menu just at the top here. I'm um, just going to have a quick look see and going to go to the, um, I'll tell you what, the panel options just at the bottom. Let's have a look and see what, oops, let's get, you can't even see that there, can you? And see what the panel, what panel options you can get there. So I'm going to click on the drop down list, go to panel options. This panel options here uh, appears. Now I don't know if you notice that I have capture dates in the column and in the link info, which gives me a little bit more information there. I can go down, scroll down and choose a different type of, if I want to see the formats, uh, if I want to see the creator in the column, depending on the size of the screen, you can decide what you want to do there. So I can go up and I've clicked capture dates. So you can add them in if you want to click on OK. I've added it in the column. So if I add it as a column, it appears just here, the capture dates. That's uh, that's good, and then if you want to see it in the data, this down here, the capture dates in the data. Oops, I not see that one there. There we go. You can see my capture date. I got that. I we'll took that picture on the 17th of August. Fantastic. So there's the first thing with the links panel. You can actually see extra bits of data and information there. Uh, what you can also do is you can select the page and actually go directly to the link. So if I go to page two, you can see that's on page two. If I scroll down to page five. Click on page five, I can see uh, my one of our colleagues there on page five, and back up to page four, uh, same colleague there. Uh, yeah, there's various options there. It allows me to go straight to that link on the document. So far, so good. The links panel is also great for the extra bits of information. So for instance, this one's an older picture, but if I just scroll this down a little bit, you'll see all of the type of information you can get. There we go, if you're holding fist in victory, cropped, it's a Photoshop file. I can see that it's a Photoshop file there. Uh, I can look at the actual PPI of the photo, but most importantly, the effective PPI, of course, needing to be over 300 pixels per inch if you want it to look good for printing. Uh, what other options? We've got tons and tons and tons of information there. We've got the path. Uh, I don't know if we can see that one, there we go. So there is the path, oh, going in and out like a yo-yo, aren't I? Here we go, so we can see the path to the picture. So that's good. Just while we're on this bit here about the path, you can use the links panel, making good use of it. You can um, reveal in Explore. Let's just show you what I mean by that here. If I just zoom in a bit here, uh, there we go. It's made it a bit sticky, here we go. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm just gonna right click, and I go down to this here, and I've got an option here that says reveal in Explorer. I click on Reveal in Explorer, and then what that does is that allows me to see the picture in Windows Explorer. So what I can do here is I can click on the picture and see what I need to do with it, or change it, or, or whatever. So this was in your CT images, social media. There's this one here, and that's good. Okay, okay. That's yeah, that's, that's excellent. 
So say for instance now, you know what, I've, I want to change this picture. I want to change this from one to another picture. Well, you can use the links pan uh, panel or links window to relink your pictures. So this is how you do it. So if you just uh, just to zoom in here so I can show you. So say I want to get rid of this one here. I'm going to right click and I click on relink. Incidentally, I can also use the relink button just at the bottom, just here. Click on the relink and now I need to choose another picture. So I'm going to go back to my social pictures here. Just going to scroll down and find any old picture. Let's have a look here, see what we've got. I will do here we go, here's a picture in Birmingham there, so I'm just going to double click and you see it swaps the picture out, so now I can see the picture of um, I think this is Victoria Square in the middle of uh, the centre of Birmingham there. So you can re-link your pictures there with the uh, links panel. In fact if there's any pictures that are wrong, say for instance you get that horrid, you know you've seen this one, you see that hazard warning sign and some of the pictures are missing and or modified, then you can go there and you can update the pictures. And what's more is if InDesign finds a number of other missing photos or pictures within the same folder, it will update them all. Fantastic. There we go. I think that's about it with the links panel. There's a lot, uh, you know, there's a lot to it. You don't want to sort of skim over it, but it's something that's um, absolutely worthwhile uh, to to go, you know, to go into seeing the file details, etc as well. Uh, you can go to the link as well if you need to on this button here, but I just find by just clicking the page number it will take you straight uh, to the link there, that's good. One last thing, actually talking about the editing the picture, say for instance I've got this picture, you know, that's great, I just want to edit it, there's a little bit of a weird thing going on, I've got some sort of mask going on, so I'm going to right click and I can just go edit with and choose Adobe Photoshop, and then it will open that picture up in Adobe Photoshop and I'll be able to edit uh, the picture, save it and bring it back in to InDesign so I can edit it directly if I want to. So I suppose you could reveal it in Explorer or you can edit it directly in Adobe Photoshop. So there we go, so Adobe Photoshop's opened, it's opened up on my uh, second screen here. So if I just double, just, just let me just see if I can drag that across and can I just drag this across so people can see it. There we go, no maybe not. Oh. Yes, I can. Uh, I thought it was, there you go. Do so you see the one I've got like, like a mask thing going on here? So if I wanted to, I can go to the mask and I can just move, you know, go to the brush here. Uh, if I just move myself up in the way, see my brush colours, there we go. And then I can start to paint stuff, paint some effort back in. There we go. And then what I would do is I go to File and Save and then go back and then you can see the picture updated. There we go. Close that picture down come back in and eventually you'll see the picture just update there you go just a little bit there um, yeah fine brilliant so that's about it with the links panel so make good use of it of course you can like any panel you can detach it and you can drag it down to the bottom here or you can move it around a little bit and have it on its own uh, just make sure you've got these little little triangle just at the bottom here allows you to see just more options just make sure you have that triangle tick there that's good. So keep uh, an eye out for further InDesign videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you've got anything out of this video. And thanks for watching.